The coronavirus in Silicon Valley. Woo, it's on everybody's mind right now. It is March 17th, 2020. Happy St. Patrick's Day, although there's not a lot of celebrating going on today. What I'm gonna talk about is the latest stats. What are some of the updates? I'm gonna provide some good resources for people in the area. I also think there are a few positives coming out of this situation. That's what I'm gonna talk about today. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in Silicon Valley. I specialize in selling homes that are in trusts and probate, and I work with regular buyers and sellers too. But today, I'm gonna to give you an update of what is going on with this coronavirus. Oh, it's all anybody's talking about. I mean, really, things have gotten real this week. So as of today, March 17th, in Santa Clara County, we are the hardest hit county in all of California. So far, there have been 134 cases confirmed, unfortunately four deaths, and 52 people have been hospitalized. In our neighboring county, San Mateo County, they have had 64 confirmed cases and one death. As of yesterday, March 16th, uh, seven counties, and pretty much everywhere it feels like, is uh, required to shelter in place, meaning stay home unless you absolutely have to go out. There are certain industries that are considered uh, essential, so they can continue going to work. Uh, people that work at banks, grocery stores, gas stations, convenience stores, plumbers, electricians, educational companies that provide online learning, legal services, accounting services, you kind of get the gist, people that are really needed. I think a lot of people that can do their jobs at home are continuing to work, whether they're in those industries, as am I. <laughs> but for the most part, people are really trying not to be out and about. I, I did have to go to a title company this morning and I will tell you there were very few people out and I did run into the grocery store and it was honestly kind of empty there. And there was food though, there was food. It was some parts were a little bit more picked over, but we're gonna be fine people. There is gonna be food in the grocery stores. Oh, and I should say restaurants can stay open just for takeout. So you can run into Starbucks, get a coffee. You can go to your favorite restaurant, get takeout. And I am encouraging people to do those things. Even if you just get a gift card, let's try and support some of our local businesses during this time. So there are some companies that are really stepping up and providing some free services that normally wouldn't be. Uh, Zoom, the online uh, meeting place, they have offered free service to K through 12 schools, not only in the United States, but Italy and Japan. And for um, educators that already had accounts, but maybe had a time limit, they've increased that to unlimited time use. So go Zoom, I love it. Google's also stepped up their Google Suites platform, which has shared uh, meeting places for up to 250 people at a time online, or up to 100,000 uh, viewers at the same time online. Uh, that is also free for educators. Comcast has also stepped up. It's increased their speeds. You might not have even known that, but yeah, I guess everyone's working from home, so they've increased the speeds at home without charging anything. They've also um, provided free internet service to low-income families who didn't have it already. Scholastic is also providing a lot of free online courses for K through 12 students. I know a lot of the private schools around here are still conducting classes online, but the public schools that have all been shut down, uh, they weren't requiring that, but if you're a parent, you can access these fantastic resources and keep your kids learning from home and keep them busy. I'm sure you, you might be pulling your hair out already. It's only day, day two for the schools. I know the schools closed down as of last week. The schools that are all closed, there are a handful of schools still offering food for kids. Uh, maybe they don't get meals at home or Food's tough to get right now. I have the list of what schools are open in the whole, you know, East Bay, South Bay, North Bay, all, the whole Bay Area. So look at that link. Look at the link for online um, educational free sites that you can use for yourself and for kids. And also the companies that are stepping up and really helping our global community. The countries in the G7, which are, let's see, Germany, Italy, France, the UK, Canada, 
the U.S. and Japan have all come together offering to share medical resources as aligning their central banks. And I quote, this is what they said, by acting together, we will work to resolve health and economic risks caused by the virus. I mean, seriously, people, this is huge. People are coming together. I know Israel is close to a vaccine. They're willing to share with everybody. Um, I know in Cleveland, they came up with a test for the coronavirus that the results come up within hours, not days. They're sharing that with the global community. I know some, a clinic in San Diego is working on a vaccine. Canada is working on a vaccine, but we're all, everyone's trying to work together. That's a positive. China has closed their coronavirus hospitals because they don't have enough patients anymore. 42 Apple retail locations in China has reopened. India has had success treating patients with certain drugs, which they're sharing that information with the rest of the world. South Korea has a decline in new cases. People, these are good things. We're headed the right direction. Maryland has had three cases and all three have recovered fully. More than 73,000 people globally have recovered fully from the coronavirus. I know a lot of people are getting hit right now with uh, loss of income. The, obviously restaurants, people that work at the large sporting events, those kind of things. But I've also heard Professional athletes are donating some of their salary to help those people. I hear some professional organiza organizations are going to continue to pay their part-time employees during this time. People are coming together. I mean, I know there's the hoarding of the toilet paper and whatnot, but let's look past some of that and let's, let's focus on the positives right now. We're all doing this together in Silicon Valley. We're doing social distancing. We're staying at home, but we're doing the best we can. And I think as long as we all continue to do that, this, this will pass sooner than you think. At least that's my two cents. So last thing I'll touch on right now is the real estate market and how we're being affected. And honestly, it's a little uncertain right now. Um, business is still somewhat normal. Uh, I have people that are still buying houses, people that are still talking about selling their houses. The Santa Clara County Recording Office was closed for a day yesterday, but they are back open for real estate uh, purchases. I know mortgage companies, they're, everyone's settling down. There's been a lot of volatility with mortgage rates, but even that, today I've talked to a couple of lenders and they're even saying that they can see a little light that it's gonna simmer down here. Um, so we just kind of have to be patient. And I think it's just a little too early to tell if there's really gonna be a big impact on the real estate or we're just gonna have a little quiet time for a week or two, but it'll be back to busier than ever and competitive as ever. So here's a little update on what's going on with the coronavirus and its impact in Silicon Valley. I hope my resources help you. If there's anything else I can do, again, I'm Annie Baker and all my contact here is here. And until next time, hang in there.